Triglycerides can be referred to as fats or oils. Although chemically similar, fats such as butter are solid at room temperature, whereas oils are liquids. Fats come mainly from animal sources and oils are mostly from plant sources. Triglycerides are made from one glycerol and three fatty acids. The hydroxyl group on the glycerol undergoes a condensation reaction with the carboxyl group on the fatty acid. This forms three ester bonds and three water molecules are removed. These bonds can be broken down in hydrolysis reactions, which would produce glycerol and three fatty acids. The properties that different fats or oils shows comes from the variation in the fatty acids as the glycerol molecule is the same. Fatty acids may be unsaturated or saturated. The carbon to carbon atoms contain double bonds in an unsaturated molecule, such as in oleic acid. In fatty acids that have one carbon to carbon double bond, they are called monounsaturated fatty acids. Those with two or more carbon to carbon double bonds are called polyunsaturated fatty acids. The arrangement of molecules around the carbon to carbon bond can differ. This arrangement can either be in a cis or trans form. In the cis form, the presence of the double bond creates a bend in the chain. The more double bonds, the more bends. This makes it difficult for them to pack closely together and also explains why they're liquids at room temperature as the bonds between the chains is weaker. In the trans form, however, the chains tend to be straighter and therefore resemble properties seen in saturated fatty acids. In saturated fatty acids, each carbon atom in the hydrogen carbon chain is linked to a carbon atom on either side and also to two hydrogen atoms. This means that the carbon atoms have the maximum number of bonds. Therefore, saturated fatty acids only have single carbon to carbon bonds. This makes the chain straight, allowing them to pack closely together, which is why they are solid at room temperature. Hi, my name is Mr. Science, aka Salim. If you're new to the channel, please remember to like and subscribe. And for more teaching resources, you can visit my website at www.mrscience.co.uk.